Hey guys, it's Elise. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're not new, then of course, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best blushes from the drugstore. So now, the inspiration for this video came because when I did my best drugstore lashes video, you guys really, really loved that video. That video is performing really well for me right now. So I want to keep that momentum going because clearly you guys liked it. I'm going to be bringing you guys a series of the best of the drugstore so today the category is going to be blushes blushes is definitely that thing that's either hit or miss you either love blush or you hate blush I know that with blushes it can be tricky because some of them can make you look like a clown and give you those like really funny looking clown cheeks I know that others don't have enough pigment and don't even show up and then there are others that are just chalky and just not good quality so with that being said I'm gonna walk you guys through my favorite and the best drugstore blushes that you can find on the market right now um so without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the video so the first blush that i want to talk to you guys about is actually the blush that i'm wearing right now i've had this blush for a few years already and i've continued to repurchase it for a good reason now this is definitely the perfect everyday type of blush now i will get into my preference my preferred kind of undertone and shade tone of blushes later on in the video so this right here is the maybelline fit me blush in the shade mauve now i want to talk about this real quick because this blush holds a very special place in my heart because it's definitely my go-to blush whenever i really truly don't really know what I'm gonna be doing with my makeup if for whatever reason I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with a cool tone eye makeup look or a warm tone eye makeup look or neutral tone I'm gonna reach for my Maybelline fit me blush this is in the shade mauve and the reason that I like it is because it's not warm it's not cool it's the perfect neutral toned blush this is the perfect everyday blush in this specific tone it is very buildable it is not extremely pigmented at first which I really like because it gives you you the leisure and the flexibility to build it up to your level of intensity but this is actually the blush that I'm wearing right now it is advertised to be a matte blush but for me it's definitely more of a satin type of blush it has a subtle satin finish that isn't extremely matte but I like it for that reason it's not anything that's disturbing it doesn't have chunky glitters in it it doesn't even have a lot of shimmers in it but it definitely has a true kind of satin type of finish I know they have a few different shade options but this to me is the one that I just always run back to and it's the mauve one blends easily looks really good looks really natural it's super affordable too you can get this for five dollars or even under that at any drugstore that sells Maybelline you can even pick it up on Amazon let's talk about the elf primer infused blush I love this blush because of its formula I feel like its formula is so creamy it's so buttery and it's so consistent what I love most about this blush is you can literally apply it at 5 a.m. one more Morning and it will literally last you until after midnight that same day I don't know what is in this blush but it has such amazing hold it can be very pigmented so you really do want to tap out the excess when you go to put this blush on because it can be very intense if you go straight from the blush to your face so you want to tap out all the excess because it can be a little harsh so you really want to work this in really gradually because this blush can come off really intense I really like the fact that this blush has a perfectly sized type of compact it's not too big and it's not too small and it has the right amount of product where it fits a really nice fluffy brush inside of it you can swirl it around a few times and put it on your face just fine one thing that I don't like about some blushes and I know you guys have seen them it's those blushes that have like that kind of like a strip instead of it being a circle or a square because I just feel like if it's a blush product let's make it square let's make it circle let's make it easy for a blush brush to fit in comfortably the formula on this blush is extremely creamy it's extremely pigmented it's extremely smooth it's just a great blush you guys and it is six dollars you can get it at Target you can get it at Walmart you can get it on elf's website I also like about these is it does have a really tan option I don't own that one but I've seen it in person and it's called I think always spicy it's definitely a more deep peachy type of tone but that would look beautiful on anyone who is of a tan to deep complexion if you are more morenita that will be the perfect peachy blush on your skin tone and I love that elf offers that this has a true matte formula and I really like it for that purpose but sometimes you really just don't want a blush that has any shimmer or has any sheen and that's okay there are some days that that just won't go with your look and I love it I just think it's a great 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 one and if you haven't tried it out you definitely should this is definitely my favorite from elf I used to like their quads but ever since I tried these out from elf I was like okay these primer infused blushes are the business and I absolutely love them 
the NYX Sweet Cheeks blush. Guys, these are super, super good. I'm shocked I haven't heard more people talk about these because the pigment on this blush insane this definitely feels like a more high-end type of blush I don't know something about the formula is very creamy it feels very like soft and velvety and that's usually how high-end blushes feel um, I really really love this blush more specifically in this color which is summer breeze the perfect deep peach type of blush when you initially apply it you can have it be just like a subtle peach but the more you build it the more intense it's going to get this is definitely the perfect blush to get if you are a medium to tan skin complexion because of the fact that you can really build it up to be as intense as you want it and if you are of a tan to almost deep complexion this blush will still show up on your skin because it's definitely a deeper type of tone I love this blush so much this was actually the inspiration for me creating this video because I'm like oh my god I need to talk about this blush because it's the perfect summer peachy blush this is a matte blush so it doesn't really have any shimmers or anything like that so if you are the type of girl that doesn't care for any shimmers in your blush this is another one you're really going to love this is very long lasting I've been able to get a good 8 to 10 hours wear of this blush on my face and it stays put throughout a hot summer day and I haven't had any issues this shade summer breeze is bomb I absolutely love it they offer other different shades I'll be honest with you guys though this has been the only shade that has appealed to me from this line of NYX um, so this has been the one that I'm going to continue to use and I'm going to continue to repurchase because I just love it and I cannot be without it in a nutshell the perfect deep peach type of blush it's amazing I love it so much and I really don't understand how more people aren't talking about it but it's fine I don't care y'all need to talk about it y'all just gonna save them all for me and that's okay oh by the way 749 to 799 at Target that's where I got it bomb I could never create this video you guys I could never ever do a blush video without giving a very honorable mention to the Milani baked blush in the shade luminoso you guys if you have watched my videos for some time I've been using this blush for way too long this has probably been the longest blush that I've ever used ever <laughs> it's been a blush that I've continued to repurchase and I will never ever stop purchasing because the formula in this blush the finish in this blush the way this blush looks the way it feels the way it wears it's beautiful it's beautiful all around and I'm sure I'm not the first to say this to you but you guys this blush is just it's amazing the swatch is not going to do it justice because it's going to look very sheer when I swatch it on my arm but just know you guys this applies so beautifully everybody always talks about the golden reflex and the golden shimmers within this blush it's very warm toned so if you are the type of person who doesn't really like warm tones you're gonna want to pick up a different shade from the Milani baked blush line I know they have um, some rosy ones that are really pretty this has been the one that I continue to repurchase um, I'll actually show you guys another one in a second from Milani that I really like but this blush bomb 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 all around it has this cute little circular compact continue to purchase this blush it's just amazing it's the perfect summertime springtime blush to put on your cheeks and not have to wear any highlighter with it if I'm completely honest I'm really not wearing highlight anymore these days I'm just not that into it it's not reaching for it like I used to but one of the reasons I love this blush is because you really don't need highlight when you put this on it has such a beautiful little sheen you turn your face in different angles you're able to catch that like golden little sheen that this blush has and note that I am saying sheen it's not glitters it's not shimmer it's like a sheen that it has it's beautiful what kind of glittery substance they use to create this blush it is so perfectly finely milled that you really can't even see it you can't even pick it up until it's on your cheek and you're like whoa what is that like little sheen that I have there it's a beautiful blush you guys and if you have not tried out Milani baked blush in luminoso you sleep in wake up sis this stuff is amazing keeping it in the Milani family I do want to just give a shout out to this Milani blush this is the kind that comes in that little like rose design I kind of ruined it because I've been using it for some time now but this is in the shade blossom time rose now this is what I go for whenever I don't want a peachy blush um, I do prefer a more peachy to rosy to mauvey type of blush it depends on what my vibe is if I'm going for warm I'm gonna go for peach if I'm going for cool or neutral I'm gonna go for a rose or a mauve type of blush. This one also has that little subtle glow that Luminoso has. Uh, however, I do feel like Luminoso is a little bit more intense and this one has more of a subtle type of 
glow but not really ever i don't want to wear luminoso and i want something a little bit more neutral toned and still with a little subtle sheen this is what i go for guys so before i close off the video i do want to give you guys some pro tips and let you guys know some of the things that i love to use most when it comes to applying blushes just because i know blush can be a little bit challenging for some people especially if you're new to makeup so my favorite type of method when it comes to applying blush is using a dual fiber brush these are my two favorite blush brushes i will sometimes when i'm lazy grab some else but I noticed that it doesn't apply the blush the same I prefer dual fiber brushes just because I feel like they distribute the product the most evenly and the most nicely now if you don't know what a dual fiber brush is it's essentially that a brush that has multiple fibers a dual fiber brush will have that softer type of brush on the top and a more dense type of fiber on the bottom the softer type of fiber on the top kind of holds the blush in place and doesn't let it seep too far down um, once you're blending it so it kind of keeps the blush here on the top and allows you to really distribute it very evenly so this blush is by moda I will leave it in the description box below I think this came in a set and this one is by BH Cosmetics and this is it says number two on it so I'm not sure I will leave both of these down below they really do make a difference when they apply the blush because they apply it so evenly and they distribute the product so well so guys I hope this video helped you out if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments what other videos you want to see from me if you have not checked out my best drugstore lash video I will have it linked for you guys here so you guys can go check that out next and if you came from that video then thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos and for supporting me with it and of course don't forget to subscribe before you leave I'd love to have you be a part of my YouTube family I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.